I'm one of the first people to see the St. Francis exhibit at our very own Borough Hall. The manuscripts inside haven't been taken out of Italy in over 700 years. Late Tuesday night, Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams unveiled 12th and 13th century manuscripts from the sacred convent of St. Francis of Assisi. These manuscripts help us to do that, to get, get a glimpse into a corner of who, who was this Fran Francis of Assisi, this man, um, you know, the, the human being, the person. It brings it to life and enfleshes it in a way that, you know, uh, reading an encyclopedia just couldn't. Seeing an actual, you know, medieval manuscript, very possibly dictated by Francis himself, very, very exciting. St. Francis is one of the most revered figures in Roman Catholic history, but the exhibit's organizer hopes this curation shows more of his human nature. These manuscripts, with a couple of them in particular, we come very, very close to the actual life of Francis itself, where he may have very well dictated it to uh, one of the early friars. And so that, that casts light upon Francis as the man, uh, as an individual, as opposed to being Francis the saint although there's one and the same person, uh, but sometimes some of the hagiographic uh, stereotypes or images that can sometimes be born and grow around a saint can obfuscure as much as illuminate uh, the nature of who the individual was in the context of their own time. With the help of Brother Jeffrey, we were able to translate some of the oldest manuscripts, some dating back to the first foundations of the Italian language, the Canticle of the Creatures and the Canticle of the Sun. Two uh, very, very popular poems uh, wide, widely ascribed to St. Francis, uh, where, wherein he lays out um, a lot of his um, perspective, his theology, if you will, and love of nature and creation. Um, this particular codex and the others like it are of such an early origin uh, as to be quite extraordinary. It's in early Italian, which is almost 60 years earlier than Dante Alighieri. So it may very well be the first um, literary work in the vernacular Italian in early 13th century. Also included are bulls from Pope Honoris to St. Francis, letters very special for Franciscans throughout the generations. Francis is not even dead yet, and we, we see the papacy already beginning to um, concede or to grant various rights and privileges to the early Franciscan order. That early closeness between the fledgling order uh, and the papacy, and they'll, they'll continue to grow in not only numbers but importance throughout the 13th century. All the manuscripts are decorated in the medieval style. Written in script, ornately bound and illustrated, the books could take a year to make, like this late medieval musical notation that could have sounded a lot like this. And it's quite remarkable. Obviously, they do this by hand, with hand tools, um, but their precision uh, by medieval stand, well, even by fairly modern standards, is quite surprising. A scribe will do the text later later illuminators or decorators will come in and space would be used that would be left blank for them and they would know how much space because it was in many ways like a team effort uh, you had different divisions of labor that would go into producing a book like this from scribes to simple colorers illustrators binders okay cutters and measurers early on okay um, and the cost of one of these books was quite extraordinary had a library of 200 books in the 13th century. That would have made your library one of the best in the continent at the time, you know. So they're very, very expensive and rare. Rare. So make sure you see this piece of history for yourself. And the only opportunity to see them is right in your backyard at Brooklyn's Borough Hall. Reporting for Currents, I'm Michelle Powers.